but all. How did Bok Choy get depopulated how it is today? Was it the Mongols? I wouldn't be able to tell you specifically, but yeah, I can wager it's the Mongols. Kind of the reason that this whole area got depopulated. Mongols. So you can see here, like, it shows, like, this isn't exactly right, you know? Egypt was in control of all of this. Like, all of this was under Egyptian control. Egypt is doing quite well, in fact. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh, no, you guys can't even see that. Hey, uh, Egypt is in control of all of this. Like, let me zoom in here. Is this as far as it zooms in? Ah, shit, this website's so buggy. So, like, Egypt was in control of all of this. Like, Egypt was doing quite well for itself. In fact, the reason that Egypt eventually started to fall, let me find... I think it's around here, yeah. Was because, um... Let me zoom back a little bit. So, uh, Egypt actually got coalitioned. Macedonia helped the Selekids basically beat back Egypt. Because, uh... Again, they were in control of all of this. So, like, there was a real concern that Egypt was kind of, like, you know, winning, so to speak. Yeah, North Africa got dicked. And then what happened is after... Okay, so this is actually why I don't... Like, the more I learn about the Silicate Empire, the more I'm kind of like, wow, they kind of... Oof. So, um... They pay me to find problems and then dispose of after them. Macedon... After Macedonia and the Silicate Empire... Although, so, here's something to consider, by the way. It's called the Silicate Empire, but it's called Macedonia, and it's called Egypt... But what you have to consider that this is before the time period of nation states. So when I say the Silicate Empire, it's called the Silicate Empire because it was very long lasting. And uh, people don't really know what to call it other than Silicate Empire. Whereas they call it Egypt, even though it wasn't Egypt, it was the Ptolemics who controlled Egypt. Does that make sense to you? Sometimes historically, um... That was very weird, all for Nectin. Sometimes historically, some countries are called by, like, their geography, and then some countries are called by, like, the dynasty that owns them. It's a bit inconsistent, and can often make no sense, especially because of the wild swap that happened at some point in history, and by some point, I mean... Oh yeah, that auto attack was way in range. Way in range. Basically next to me, in fact. Um... Oh, right. I forgot he can just break my shield now. Um. Huh, how do I deal with that?
Anyway, so, uh, point is... As I'm talking about a lot of this stuff, don't think that there was, like, one... Like, don't think that this is, like, ancient Egypt, okay? This is the Ptolemaic Egypt. The Ptolemaic dynasty, who started by a former general of Alexander, who took Egypt after Alexander died. Yeah, with the least coming, I realized that there was a no escape for me anymore. And, uh, what was I gonna say? Anyway, point is, is that, um... I feel like even with people that read history, there's something of a misunderstanding where... I know I've said this before, but I'm just wrapping it up now with my thoughts. There's something of a misunderstanding that the Silicate Empire was constantly expanding and was like this big threat to Rome. And like, oh, they were they were moving west all the time and blah 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 blah. Whereas like people will those same people will then say, well, Tomic Egypt kind of just sat there. They weren't very powerful. They became a subject state of whoever won between Antigenus and the Seleucus. And that's just simply not what happened at all oh, that's bad and I lost my uh... Uh, he's about to get level 6, at which point he kind of crushes me. Do I have boots? Does he have boots? No, but he's got flash. Oh, and he had boots anyway. Okay. The original Rome Total War is ancient Egypt instead of Ptolemaic Egypt, so they're running around with Bronze Age weapons. See, no, but like that's actually what I mean. Like I'm not I'm not trying to joke about this. Like it actually feels like there's this untrue historical meme that Ptolemaic Egypt kind of just sat there and did nothing until Rome took them over. They had three wars, and don't think like modern war, where you fight till one side dies. Think like ancient war, where you fight till one side or both sides can't really afford to have money, and their armies die, and then they go, well, fuck it, what do you want? But they won three wars against the Silicids back to back to back. Ah, shit. I'm just waiting to see if they go in the turret or not. Historical memes, I'm using the literal definition of a meme. Something that gets repeated and is a meme. Is what the steel of our soul. Um, yeah, that, that one's true. Uh, the Ptolemaic dynasty 
basically unified Hellenistic and uh, Kemetic religion, Kemetic being the Greek religion, and started calling themselves pharaohs. Whereas on the Seleucid side, they tried uh, Hellenization, which basically means... Uh, they tried Hellenization, which basically means... Sorry, I was trying to not die there. What was I going to say? They tried Hellenization, which basically means they tried to convert the local populace to Greek customs and religion and ideas, etc. The uh, Ptolemics were a little bit more successful with their idea. The uh, the Persians weren't too keen on becoming Greek. Though they did merge a lot of customs. And they did adopt a lot of a local customs, and their army style largely swapped over to a cavalry style rather than a phalanx style. All of those things are true. And then people will say that's evidence that they adopted to their local, but they really didn't. They didn't swap to a cavalry style of warfare because they were trying to become Persified. They swapped it to a cavalry style of warfare because they were largely fighting, you know, eastern tactics. And eastern tactics were pretty effective against phalanxes. So they largely swapped over to uh, a counter. They didn't actually, and that's the thing too, they didn't swap over to eastern tactics. They swapped over to a counter of eastern tactics. They didn't swap over to light cavalry and horse archers. They swapped over to heavy cavalry. Let's put this in League of Legends terms. If someone plays a lot of Aurelia and you play Jax to counter them, you're not adopting an Aurelia playstyle. You might be adopting a Bruiser playstyle, but you're adopting a playstyle mostly to counter things, you know? And that's how you can kind of consider the Seleucid style of warfare. People use it as an example of them Easternifying, but that wasn't really them Easternifying. That was mostly them trying to counter Eastern tactics. If they had actually brought out light cavalry and, and horse archers and shit, um, they would have beaten phalanxes. But they had swapped to heavy cavalry who were beaten by phalanxes, but also tended to beat light cavalry and horse archers. I want this turret to blade. There we go. Uh Looks 
Am I excited for the new Pantheon? Um, my concerns looking at the numbers are that he's going to be an AD assassin with an invulnerability and he's not actually going to be built bruiser and the meme that he's going to use conqueror just simply isn't going to be true. That's my concern. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Morality is a beautiful servant and a dangerous master. Oh, shit. I would not say it's like Brom Shield on steroids. That, that is not the description I would use. Ow! Holy shit! Sometimes scars are the most refined attire one can wear. I don't play the game, I make the rules. Okay, I didn't use my Q and I was waiting for it to like go. Like I was waiting for my Q to like get the second form and then I realized that it never actually pressed the first side. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Shut down. Another step in the march of progress. I come. 
to get you. I am employed when negotiations fail. How does Camille fight Renekton anymore? Do I have any stealth sight in my kit? Won't his enhanced W also break my Sterex? Society needs rules. Top top, a lady never dirties her hands. I'm old enough to know better. I don't really want to go in on that. Seems a bit suicidal.
Jesus. Just Jesus Christ. He gets five damage, I get five HP. Shut down. never goes out to fresh has been destroyed. bit up, aren't I? Another step on the march of progress. Let me be clear. I will kill you. Seriously, game, like seriously though, in all honesty, seriously. Like, instead of zigzagging, use the fact I'm faster than him to just fucking hit him. Thought they might be under turret. I was just like, yeah, let's look. Let's try. Let's see. They will greet you as heroes. An enemy has been slain. What happened to cart this all? Your behavior is unacceptable.
What exactly is the meta build for Camille now? Do I just go Guardian Angel? Oh ha, GA. Okay, that makes sense. That's it. Self-made women need to be more prevalent. How come no one picks Wukong top 54% with 0.8% pick rate? Did the 0.8% pick rate? Anyone below 5% pick rate is starting to get a little bit suspect on their stats. At 0.8% pick rate? That means legit... I mean, here, let me actually look here. Actually, I, I I do want to rename this account though. What do I rename this account, Twitch Chat? And Shin Shin, Gritty Butthole, Antheon's Demise. Oh, shut the fuck up, Twitch Chat. If you dipshits are gonna turn this I myth old Pantheon shit on, I'm gonna kill you. I'm actually just gonna fucking kill you guys. They will greet you as heroes. Thank you, Fred Jin. I guess this guy is from channel. What should I make my name? Um...
We will dominate again. I mean, that name's likely not available, yeah. Parmaban Riven. Oh,